good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistrunk, and I thought I would reach out to my students. Okay, so it's a couple of things I want to talk about in this particular video log. I want to have you focus on your career. I want to talk about career. I want to have you focus, but I want to do it in a way where you can see the reality of what you will be going for. Now, understand me when I say this. You're looking at this screen right now, and you see whether you in my basic Linux class or in my advanced Linux class, where you will end up. And I can tell you right now from a few students who I've talked to, they are enjoying the advanced Linux class. So this is where you want to end up. I showed you this before. This is where you want to get. If you're my basic students, you want to know how to manage, install, and configure all of these devices using this application called Linux. You got the Bastion server right here. You got server A, you got server B, and you got switches and routers in here working. So how do you get to this, especially how do you get here in the real world? Because that's what it's really all about. As you can see, I spoke to you about this before. We have four Linux classes that you have to travel to. Now, you will get a certificate once you complete these four Linux classes. Woohoo! That's what you want. You want to get the certificate. You can see a CIS 118, CIS 218, and then you have dual partnerships between CIS and CNS with Linux administration and Linux, also Linux Network Service Administration. Why do you want the four classes in order to get the certificate? because it's another level of credential in your belt when you go out there to apply for a job. So you'll be able to show that Oakland Community College gave you a certificate and you will also then be applying or sitting for the certifications. Now this is Linux Professional Institution. When you are learning Ubuntu, or Red Hat, you will then go sit for one of these certifications. Now, the certification that you will sit will be the LPIC-1, and this certification gives you the credentials that employers are looking for. The same with the Red Hat certification. You can come in here and get the Red Hat certification and get the credentials that the employer is looking for. Now, you do not have to get both of them. You can just simply get one. It can be the Red Hat or it can be the Linux Professional Institution. My goal as a professor is to give you options and let you choose which one you want to go for. Now, with that being said, I need you to start thinking about certifications. While you're traveling through these courses, you will get to the point where you're at this last course and you will have the knowledge to sit for the certification. So I want you to make sure that that's what your goal is to do, other than learning Linux really, really good. I talked to you about the many distributions of Linux out there. As you can see, if you go to this particular timeline, and don't worry, I will put this in my vlog uh, scripts section so you can click here, you see that there are a lot of versions of Linux out there. And I know this is huge, so I'm not going to attempt to shrink it down so you can see different versions of Linux, but there are a lot of versions of Linux out there like Red Hat, 
Ubuntu. So you are learning these different versions of Linux. All you need to do is know one, but the more you know gives you more skills to deal in the Linux world. Now, what I want to do is to show you from a cloud point of view because my advanced students moving to the point where they will be working in the cloud learning Linux. So you know that I'm teaching cloud computing classes. So how do we make the job easy when we work in a world of using computers? So when you get to the end of your journey to my advanced students, we're going to bring you in a platform out there that is called cloud computing. Now you know that there's Google Cloud Platform, there's Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform, there's Amazon Cloud Platform. But for this example, I'm going to use Google Cloud Platform because they all basically the same. You learn one, you know the other. Now why is this so important? Because this is the primo to learning computing because now everything is moving towards the cloud. So I'm going to show you how it, simple it is to go up in here and bring forth a version distribution of Linux. So as you can see here, I'm going to create a VM instance. And for those who don't know, VM means virtual machine. I'm going to go ahead and create one. And with that rolling out, it takes a little time. I'm going to speed it up, though. I'm going to give this instance a name. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose the region that I want to put this distribution in. As you can see, you can put it in many regions. And why do we choose a region? Well, let's say we want our web applications to be seen around the world without having any lag time. So we choose a particular region to put that in and it will choose a zone or we can go in there and choose a zone too. Now I'm going to come down here and it says E2 series. I can click on here and choose what CPU I would like to use. I'm going to stay with the standard. What I'm actually doing is building a computer right here in the cloud. And I'm going to put on there an application, which we call Linux, to run that system. As I move down here, you can see the many different options I can use to play with this particular incident. As you can see, I can choose a lot of things. Here's the name of the instance. This is the size of my hard drive. And you can see I have a distribution of Linux right here. I can change that to be something else. For instance, I can have Damien or right here, I can do Red Hat Linux. And if I choose Red Hat Linux, or I can choose Ubuntu, let's choose Ubuntu. So if I choose Ubuntu, I'm going to select that. Now you're going to see this price change a little. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. And I think it is. But now look how the price changes when I use Windows. So let's say I come here and I decide to choose a Microsoft Windows Server operating system and I'm gonna keep it that same now let's look at the price see if it's gonna change it jumped to $61 monthly estimate 61.24 so I'm gonna go back to change back to the version that I had on there prior to this which would be here and then I'm gonna select that the price will change back. So now when you hear about cloud computing, you know what they actually do and you will manage these services. I'm actually going to open up an HTML file right here. So that means HTTP 
traffic can jump back and forth. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create this instance. So now in the cloud, we call it instance, okay? Now you can see this is building up and I'm gonna come back to that because I want to show you something else. So let me let this build up and we'll come back. What I want to show you now is how two students presented their work to me. And I want to say to those students, kudos to you because you know exactly what I'm looking for. And I must have missed students. These two students actually were in a class with me before, so they know what I'm looking for. So this is why I'm sending this to you so you can do the same. One student is in my basic Linux class and the other student is in my advanced Linux class. And as you can see, they clearly outline the lesson so I can clearly understand it. As you can see, they put their name on here. Now I put XXX because I didn't ask the students, could I use your material? So I didn't want to put their name on here. I put XXX up here, they gave the chapter, and they even gave the assignment as they completed it. As you can see, everything that they did, they put in here, so I can clearly read through the assignments. Students, I am expecting you to do the same. I need to be able to see clear work, not shadows, clear work work and as you can see it can be done <laughs> that's my evil laugh so i'm expecting everyone to think like this good better best present your best work to me so i thought i'd throw that in real quick because i want to make sure that Give me the best you can, people. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, let's go back to the VM. Okay? You can see that the incidence is here. Now, how do I get to it? That's another question. But you can see you're learning about SSH and how to SSH into things. I can open a browser window. Let's open up one and see what's in there. Now, I'm not expecting anything to be in there, but as you can see, I can come in here and connect and begin to set this machine up. I'm not gonna do all that right now. I just want to give you a sneak view of what you can. So I can come in here using this version of Linux and check files. I can say, sudo and see that I'm in here now. I can actually type in things, but we can go even deeper as you see me change this operation. So I will be showing you these particular things as we travel through this class because we want to move to cloud computing to learn Linux in the cloud. Now I do have a separate cloud class but I want you guys to get ready to go into computing in the cloud. So let's backtrack real quick so you know what I'm looking for out of this particular video log. It will be extremely short. And I want you to do this. Once you go through this video log, I want you to email me back saying, Professor, I watched your video log and I know how to present the assignments to you. We talked about taking you to the fulfillment of the Linux platform where you can learn how to manage all these devices. We also showed you the different classes you will take to get the certificate so you can go sit for your certification. We talked about two different institutions in there that offer certifications so you can prep and get ready for these credentials that will help you in the industry. And we talked about the many diff different distributions of Linux that is out there. And at the end of this, we took a look at how to go into cloud computing 
and build out a Linux uh, instance. And we, we left off with presenting the documents to the professor so he can truly give you the best grade possible. So with that being said, this is Professor Sistrunk, and I will see you in the next video log. Have a nice day, people. Sayonara.